Some people may scoff at the idea of scripting a documentary. After all, isn't a documentary supposed to be based in reality? So therefore, if you're scripting it, doesn't that make the whole thing feel fake? But the reality is that almost every documentary that you see has a script or at least a treatment. Now that's not every documentary, but the majority of them do. Now this doesn't mean that you're feeding lines to your subjects or telling them what to say. Instead, think of your documentary script as more of a guide. We're not talking like a narrative film script, you know, it's not some sacred document that can't be changed, but it's a lot easier to tell a story when you have a blueprint than if you just run and gun it with your camera. Now, if you know me, then you know that for the past two years, I've been the producer for the web-based paranormal reality series, Rogue's Hollow Paranormal. Now, in the world of the paranormal, not only are you following the lives and the actions of the living and breathing investigative team, but you have a whole slew of other subjects who are dead, and these spirits are just as important of characters in your story as the investigation team themselves. But the problem with communicating with the spirit world is that oftentimes it's very unpredictable. So at this point, you may be asking yourself, how can you write a script for a documentary when you have no idea what any of the characters will say, especially considering that a majority of the characters in your story are spirits? Well, if I went into making these documentaries without a solid game plan or story structure to begin with, Often the episodes would probably feel just as random as some of the communication that we do receive from the other side. So yes, scripting your documentary is just as important in the world of the paranormal. Now this script is often pretty loose as we have to adapt on the fly while shooting. However, we usually do conduct some background research over the location as well as who had lived there um, historically in the past. And knowing this gives the investigative team the pieces that they need to ask the right questions, which ultimately gives way to a larger story of who these spirits are and what their message is. On my end, I take all the evidence and I form questions, which I then bring to the team lead, Trevor Tolley. Trevor's answers are based off of his interpretations of the investigation and the evidence we received, and his interpretations help shine a light on what the overall story and narrative structure for the episode will be. Now, here is where the real scripting begins for me. Obviously, I'm not writing Trevor's lines for him or any of the investigative team, and you definitely can't write the lines for what the spirits will say. They say what they say, and sometimes what they say doesn't even make any sense. But now that I have the whole of the investigation shot, as well as all the interview footage, I have all of the pieces that I need in order to construct a fluid narrative structure. So as I said earlier, this isn't a traditional script in the way that you would typically think of a script for a narrative film. I am taking the dialogue that was spoken naturally in real time by real people, both living and dead, and then I'm ordering that dialogue in order to construct a narrative that tells a story. Even in documentary filmmaking, you have to have a story. And at its most basic level, a story is simply a series of events with a cause and effect relationship that has characters pursuing a goal with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Now the characters in these stories are the investigative team as well as the spirits. Each of them have their own goals of telling a wider story. And typically the beginning of this narrative structure will start with some expository and historical information about the site that we're investigating. And if it's somebody's home, this is usually where I'll show interview a role of the homeowner detailing some of their experiences with the haunting to give context. The middle rising action of the story typically follows the investigation itself. What evidence did the team gather throughout the night and what inferences can you start to put together with those puzzle pieces? The climax of these episodes is usually either the craziest piece of evidence that we got during the investigation or the most significant and eye-opening piece of communication that we received from the other side. From there, we can dive into the falling action and resolution of the story, which is usually where Trevor and his wife, Missy, will give their overall conclusions on how the investigation went, what their thoughts are and opinions, and what inferences they believe that they can make based off the evidence of what the spirits were trying to communicate with us that night. Now, while the documentaries that I make are typically under the very specific niche category of the paranormal and ghost hunting, 
it really doesn't matter what your subject area is that you're focusing on for your documentary because these tips can apply to anyone really whether you're following the life and career of an athlete or you're following the lives of wild animals in the amazon rainforest you still need to have a story and to do that you need to go in with a game plan and some goals about what you want to capture and what you think might happen over the course of uh, filming this documentary. But these goals will likely change over the course of filming and with that the outcomes that you predicted might not be the outcome that you end up getting by the end of filming and that's okay. Remember like I said a documentary script isn't like a script that you would think of when you're writing a narrative film. This script is a living and breathing document that changes as the flow of the story changes as things happen in real time but it's still there to help you as a guide and a blueprint. By the time that you're done shooting and you make it into post, you'll have a very clear view of what the story is. And now you'll have the pieces that you need to construct that narrative structure. Remember, you're telling a story with the beginning, a middle, and an end. You're not feeding anybody lines of dialogue, but you are taking what people said or what things have happened while you were shooting, and you're ordering that into that story that follows that traditional story structure. So there you have it. I hope that my experiences within documentary filmmaking are able to help you out as you begin your documentary. But I wanna know down in the comments, tell me how do you plan for, how do you script, how do you structure your documentary films? Let me know. Also, is there any topic that you want me to cover on the DIY filmmaking series? If there is anything that you want me to talk about in a future video, go ahead and let me know down in the comments that as well. But anyway, guys, that is all I have for you here today. Remember, if you like this content and you wanna see even more videos on indie filmmaking, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn that bell on for notifications. Also. If you are interested in checking out Rogue's Hollow Paranormal to see some of the ghost hunting documentaries that we've made together, I'm going to go ahead and link their channel down in the description below. So go ahead and feel free to check it out and give them a subscribe as well. Um, but anyway, guys, until next time, that's a wrap.